Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 79, Football Manager 19, Club 3. We are with West Brom. After starting our careers with Infield Town and Barnett, Barnett, uh, the board, I'm coming back a day early. Uh, the board wants to discuss extending our contract. So I'm okay with that. Uh, let's see. Yep, fantastic idea. And here we go. All right, well, that should be coming up. So let's take a look as we're moving forward. So we were in a bad, kind of a, you know, a mediocre run of form. After uh, the Watford draw last episode, we drew nil-nil with Southampton. Then we got on a little bit of a run. We beat Bournemouth 2-0. I don't need the headphones on. I always forget. Uh, I've, I always mention it, but usually when I'm either rendering videos or I'm just playing matches like to get to the next episode to record, I usually have another video that I'm watching uh, or listening to on my other monitor over here. So that's what was going on, and that's why I had the cans on. But anyway, 2-0 win, uh, Andy Vernon and Matthew Taggart with a 93rd minute nail in the coffin. We kind of stunned Lester. Hassan Bazdak, Danny Olmo, and Oscar Melendo, all with goals. Two in the first 10 minutes. Wasn't even close. We are not in Man United's league, unfortunately. Scum beat us 2-0. Uh, Anthemio Gomez, a brace. Then we beat Crystal Palace 3-1. Uh, Chikwuma just scored a brace. Bazdag scored a, in the 31st minute. And then Melendo was sent off with a straight red card. We did uh, fine him two weeks' wages. Stoke, we beat 3-0. Dale Sinclair, midfielder, scored a brace. Bozdog scored again. So he's been in pretty good form lately. Burnley, we should have won. I think we got jobbed a little bit. 2-1. Uh, uh, on the loss with Stuart Coleman scoring. And then I guess the game paid us back because we beat Ar <laughs> Arsenal was top, top of the table. We beat them 2-1. to one. Uh, Will Clark put them up in, early with a penalty in the 19th minute. Danny Olmo and then Chukwuma with the game winner in the 85th minute. And then Huddersfield, 2-0 win. Kung Pang, our left back, our Chinese left back scored. Asalani scored in the 73rd minute. Uh, Chikwuma was hurt. He's going to be out for quite a spell. I believe he is out for uh, seven weeks. Yeah, so not good there. So if we take a look at the competition, we are solid mid-table. Uh, eighth position, 26 points. Only nine points out of Europe. That would be nice if, if we could somehow catch up. The fact that we've even gotten within nine points pretty nice and we're only 14 points off the lead <laughs> but that's not going to happen so uh of more importance is we are 10 points clear of relegation and four points clear of exact mid table so those are the good things so i was going to come back for huddersfield but then we drew our third round matchup uh, taking a look here, we are expected to reach the fifth round. And Hull City, of course, uh, you guys know I'm a big Loki Doki fan, so Jared Bowen plays for Hull in real life. Not sure he is still on the club. He is not. Where is Jared Bowen? Is he retired? Jared Bowen. Palermo. Wow. So he's 31 now. So it's a good looking 31, huh? Kind of young. So he's in Palermo, valued at 14.75, making 3.45 mil a year. Go, Jared. And uh, yeah, so he is uh, not with Hull anymore. But because I knew Hull from Loki's save, or knew of Hull, figured I would come back for that. I was hoping Bowen was there. I should have looked, I suppose. But of more importance is the hated Aston Villa. So we're going to play them first. So let's see if our contract comes in while we're moving ahead towards 
the uh, Aston Villa match. Uh, we do have we do have a couple of things to look at transfer wise. Nothing that's going to take place. We've got one, and I guess I'm, I, I must have overlooked it, but somehow we've got a guy coming up in two years. Okay. So we just signed this guy. So we'll look at all that in a minute. Okay, here we go. Uh, Mid-table, 65 and 99. Okay, so nothing different there. That's where we're at. They want us signing young players, develop players using our youth system. We'll accept that. All right, so we're making $1.71 million currently. We're under contract through the end of the season. If I can get that down to 25, but they're putting me up over $3 million a year on a three-year deal like that i could retire after making that much money easily i could retire after one year i think uh 25 suggest they're happy with that i'm happy with that good deal we are making some scratch all right new deal i'm delighted I'm not in love with West Brom. I'm, not, you know, don't know anything about him in real life. All right, match preview. All right, let's get to this. This is a game I, I want to win. Um, all right, we're on the road. We're favored. It's got a slight breeze. I think we're gonna go. I really hate to screw around, so. But, you know, oh, you know what? Mm. We are favored. All right, Asalani Cunningham. Where is Sobe? There he is. I had promised Sobe some more playing time. All right, so we're going to go with that. And then we have Asalani coming off the bench. Attacking mid, defensive mid. Oh, and post Malone. Yeah, we can go with that. All right, let's get into this one. I had promised him a couple of starts, and I've been forgetting. So I think he started one in the last four since I made the promise. All right. We, uh, yeah, we were really struggling with morale there for a while. Uh, the players called a team meeting uh, to, to air their gripes. And, you know, I, I played the, hey, just go out there and win, and that'll take care of everything, right? <laughs> and it did. All right, Kumpang comes back to grab it, lays it off to Coleman. Okay, this is trouble. <laughs> Plays it back to Caputo. Uh, ooh, he missed it. All right, Ingram. Ingram on the run. Crossed in, top of the box. Oh, what a step. Yes, Danny Omo, number four on the season. He just drilled that off of Pollard's back. He got hands on it, but it still went into the net. Very nice. Uh, yeah, that last match against Huddersfield, we ended up having outdoing him 21 to 1 on shots. Kumpang with the header into the top bins. Second goal of the season, and we are up two, eight minutes in. Take that, Villa. Yeah, not a, not a Villa fan, not lately at least. Never had anything against them before last weekend. 
<laughs> All right. Oh, clear it out. There we go. Oof. All right, let's give them some praise. And I don't want theirs. I want ours. I like this one because I can see their condition at a glance. Motivated, calm, confident. Our front front half is playing very well. All right, eight. To, uh, well, we're being outshot. They've got a slight possession. Strangely, we haven't had any chances created. That's interesting. But again, the big thing is we've started pulling a couple of wins instead of draws and losses in those three points. I, I think in looking, you know, since I don't watch the Premiership very much, you know, I don't feel... educated enough to really talk about it but i know there's the top six you've got your man united man city arsenal liverpool um and, and you know then you've got kind of a, a few other clubs that are like like your everton's tottenham's that are like right on the cusp you know right outside that you know right in or right out of that top six and then you've got everybody else and if there's a way, if you can somehow be one of those everybody else teams that can just grab, you know, go on a run and grab a couple of wins, right? Then I think that is really huge. All right, let's see. Danny Olmo mid left. Well, I'm going to bring Melindo in. He can play mid-right and mid-center. And then... Sobey's playing a 6-9, and, and he has an assist. That's not bad. Uh, Nyimbi, Edson Alvarez... And I think that's, you know, that's what we did at the end of last season. And I think that's what we're doing this season as well. Still give them some praise. All right, Villa on the attack. Oh, chested down. Turned. Oh, danger ball, danger ball. Oof. All right, they get it back. Jones. Lula out to Knight. Oh, nice block. Who was that? Merlindo, nice. Nice to get a foot on that. Oh, a good run by Knight. Oh, great, great save. Knocked out for a corner, but that was a brilliant save. I thought that was a goal. Oh, what a Superman save. Caputo just lays out, makes the sacrifice. Um, all right, you're good. I want to try to rest Vernon the whole game. Defensive left, mid center. All right, let's let's rest uh Kunpang here. There we go. All right, he hoofs it out. Was there a foul? Was that on Merlindo? Ah, what the hell. Boo. All right. Throw ins. Oh, that was ugly. No defense. The sliding tackle pass. All right. We need to uh, tighten up here. Tighten up. All right, Pollard's back. Five minutes of stoppage time. 
All right, Bozdak lays it out to Taggart, up to Melinda, Melindo, into the back of a defender. Oh, God. Garcia. Oh, what? What the fuck was that? I mean, he literally made a world-class tackle. And it doesn't go anywhere. And then he's able to... The keeper's on the ground diving to make the save that Garcia made the block. Oh, that's crap. Knocked away. All right, let's check this tactic, man. I am freaking out here. All right, we are a standard line. We're not using the trap. Okay. You're both ball playing defenders, right? Then why are... Oh, he's cover. Okay. Well, you're not covering, Coleman. All right. Let's move them up to just to a standard central defense. Because, yeah, I am... Let the pleats hit the floor. <laughs> All right, Caputo. Two minutes left. All right, Ingram corrals it. Short, short hits it. Oh, there's one into Bosdak. Offsides? Come on. Oh, what a save. Now, see, before they kicked the ball, uh, the referee, the official would have blown the whistle had that been Leeds playing Aston Villa and not West Brom. But only if Leeds was the one on the attack. Boy, they get screwed over. We get screwed over so bad on calls, it's not even funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, tough result to take. That's disappointing. I am not happy with that. Should, should have bitched him out really good. All right. Well, we'll be back in a second for Hull. All right. We are back for our third round FA Cup matchup with Hull. We have won five of our eight matchups against them lifetime. And we are favored on the road. There is a little bit of hail. I think I'm going to flip over to that tactic. And can I go there? Okay, and that puts Sobe in the starting lineup, which is where we want him. Andy Vernon back from injury. The transfer window just opened today. I have not delved into... Uh, into that yet, but I will probably be looking. We've been breaking even, you know, one way or the other. I'll, I'll lose one or two million dollars one month. I'll make one or two million the next month. And uh, so I think I can afford to take a little more salary on. All right, we're in the white and blue prison kits. Hull's in their uh, bumblebee outfits. All right. Again, even though we get the ball, we head it to the other team. All right, Coleman. He's looking deep. Bozdag on the run. Oh, that could have taken a nasty deflection for Hull. All right, Donnie Olmo plays it short. Kuhn Pang. Oh, Vincent Day with a nice save. It was right at his feet, but still. Uh-oh. Price plays it short. Oh, deflected. 
Good defense by Ramadan. Not Adam Ramadan, but another Ramadan. Come on, boys. All right, there we go. Played up to Bazdag at the, in the mid. Laid off to Ingram. Brings it up the right. Uh, lucky bounce to Ramadan. Oh, and Sinclair sails that one. We get the lucky bounce. Nothing happens. Villa got the lucky bounce last match, and they scored two goals. Oh, right in his face. Scott Sterling. <laughs> um, all right, I'm a little nervous here. We are... Uh... Hold on, where's analysis, summary, teams, match stats. There we go. That's what I want. All right, so we don't have possession. Barely, barely. All right, you know what? I am going to switch over to that tactic. All right. All right. Kunpang. Up to Bosdag. Out to Omo. Back into Sinclair. He threads it through. Oh. He slowed up. I thought he had timed that well. Look, he really. Yeah, yeah everybody's offsides. Good job, guys. <laughs> Good job, guys. Oh, nice tackle. Oh, I guess it was not a nice tackle. And that's a straight red. Okay, well, Bosdag. Um, let's see. Marking. Tackling. Vermin plays. Um, I move him up. A Mazella on support. Actually, I want him on support. Let's see how that looks. I don't usually make those kind of tactical decisions. Come on, fellas. I mean, we're still getting shots. We're not getting highlights, but we're still getting shots. Hmm. Eight to five. Damn nation. All right. In the central areas of our own third. All right. Oh, you know what I want to do here? Hold on. All right. Let's drop to that. Ooh. Close. Encourage. All right, they're all composed. I mean, that's good that we're a man down and we're still composed, right? All right. Um, all 
All right, Malone for some fresh legs. Vernon for Melindo. Come on, boys. Oh, no. Adam Sanders. I don't even know how he cut that angle. That was pretty miraculous. I would say that that ball went in through the side netting, but, you know, whatever. Being a man down, I just can't very well. Oh, what the hell was that? First goal of the season. Show some passion. Yeah, they have fallen apart here. That's going to be the match. Well, it's hard to judge what that would have been or could have been. Um, assertive. It sucked, man. It sucked. So we're out of the FA Cup. We were expected to make the fifth round. So they're not going to be happy. And they're like, man, we just gave you a new contract. All right, Bosdag, that was a straight red card. I'm going to find two weeks salary. All right, uh, where do we come back now? I think we go ahead and go about halfway. We come back, let's see, we just played Watford, yeah? Newcastle and Watford. Let's come back for Southampton and Bournemouth. Mid-table, bottom of the table, and then we'll come back for Hudders and Aston, I believe. Unless we have a shot to qualify for Europe, then maybe we come back a little early. Uh, but that's my plan is maybe two more episodes for this season. Let me know if you think that's, you know, are we going a little, is that a little too fast? Um, you know, if we're just going to finish mid table, I don't see the reason to drag that out. Right. But anyway, uh, that puts us still eighth position, two points up on mid table. 14 points off Arsenal. Oh, wow. They still have... Man, Man City still is sitting on zero losses. Seven draws, but, but no losses. Uh, anyway, pound the like button. Subscribe if you don't mind. We will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.